Hi and welcome to Wine Around Oz. We have come to Yangara in McLaren Vale to talk to the winemaker and some of the other guys that walk here about some of the wines they make. In particular, we are interested in some old Grenache bush vines that they have here that not many people have. So we're going to go out the back and take a look at them and find out about their wines. I believe the greatest variety in McLaren Vale is Grenache. It's something that I think that we do better than every other region in Australia. Um, arguably the Brossa, um, but I think our Grenache is more vibrant, um, more complex, more layered. I'm probably getting into a good argument with a Brossa producer, <laughs> but that's what I feel that we really offer as an absolute niche. This is Peter Fraser, winemaker at Yangara, and let me tell you, it takes a brave and confident winemaker to diss the neighbouring wine region and claim that your region is the best in the country at producing something. Lucky for Peter, in this case, we think he's probably right, which is the reason we came to Yangara in the first place. Yangara has some of the oldest Grenache bushfires in the country, and with 66 acres, is the largest in McLaren Vale. However, they're also producing other tasty varietals, and he explained why that is. If um, Grenache does so well, let's pick on all the varieties that grow well where Grenache grows, so thus going to the southern Rhine, which is where Grenache it's the home of Grenache, go to Spain, um, which is the home of Grenache, and pick on varieties. To me, there's nothing worse than coming to a winery and they taste your Chardonnay, the Sauvignon Blanc, the Pinot Gris, the Shiraz. So you've gone from cool climate varieties through mm -hmm. to warm climate varieties and they're telling you they're all fantastic. To me, you lose integrity and you lose the the message just kind of spin your wheels. Whereas if you just concentrated on the varieties that do extremely well, um, you have so much more impact. At the end of the day too, I think people as wine drinkers are becoming more adventurous. They're, they're sick of drinking um, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and, um, and just their Cabernet, Chardonnay, Shiraz. They want to kind of try interesting new flavours. Well, that's music to our ears. Thank goodness there's winemakers out there trying some different varietals. For those adventurous wine drinkers out there, Yangara is also producing Vonier, Mouvedre and Roussan with some others in the pipeline. So next, Peter asked us to go visit the brand Spenka New Winery and told us about his latest toy, the sorting table. So we're about to go into the brand new winery at Yangara where they have one of only about five sorting tables in Australia. Now, you think sorting table, you think old women in hairnets picking out grapes sort of ah oh, Beryl, how you doing? How's that? It's nothing like that. This thing, think the game mousetrap, you know, it had all those little things that connect to this and connect to that and pour into that and this thing is a bit sort of weird. Uh, it is the most up-to-date latest bit of wine technology and uh, we're probably going to be the first people in Australia to film how it's working for sort of you the public. So yay, score one for wine around Oz. So come on inside and watch this masterpiece of machinery do its thing. Once the grapes have been brought in and dumped into this large hopper, this little baby will pretty much take care of the rest of things to the guys here. As usual, they start off with going through the crush and destemmer stage. Once they've been destemmed, the grapes drop out the bottom and get vibrated along with this shelf. Most of the small dried up raisins will drop out through a filter and onto another shelf. All the leftover stems shoot out over this side, ready to be composted. Hmm, a little more efficient than our extreme small batch winemaking method. This is where the little raisins will drop out and are also collected for composting. Okay, so this is where the good grapes go. Vibrated along this table and heading in the right direction. Off this shelf, onto the next shelf, and then along through this grill, down into the bottom here, in order to go up the conveyor belt again. See, just like a game of mousetrap. And then they end up in here, crushed or uncrushed, ready to be wheeled off to the fermenters. But that's not all. There is also a second filter for raisins, in case any of the cheeky buggers made it through the first one. This is almost invisible though, as it's an air blast that does the sorting. Right, 
once the process is complete, everything is whisked off to these fermenters and the rest is history. Yangara is at the opposite end of the spectrum from where we started our journey to find out what it takes to be a winemaker. With the latest of everything, it's a big difference from the others we visited, however the winemakers here don't just rely on their technology. Talking to Peter has just reinforced what we found in other places. It takes passion, tenacity, time and just a little bit of luck if you want to spend your life making wine that is not just a cask of plonk, but liquid sunshine in the glass.